Cool, today we're going to see how to fold a tree in PewScript. No worries, if you can read Haskell, you're going to be able to read the code today. Okay, let's start with the data value. So we have our tree type, which can either be constructed as a leaf, wrapping a value, or a node, which has two trees. So this is a binary tree. Then we have an instance of show. No, no, don't worry about this. It's just that in PureScript, we need to name the instances, but the rest works as in Haskell. So we transform either the leaf or the node into a string representation. Then we have our example tree, which is this tree here represented by a tree on the left, which contains the character A and the character B, and a tree on the right, which is just a leaf containing the character C. And here we have our, our main, you can think of effect as IO, and unit is just spelled out completely. And then here we have our print, which of course prints out our tree according to the definition of the show instance. Okay, we want to do a couple of things here. One is that we would like to be able to count the amount of leaves we have in the tree. In our case, three. And also we would like to extract all of the characters into a list. In other words, what we want to do is that we want to summarize the tree into a value. In the first case, it's an integer. In the second case, it's a list of characters. So since the data type is recursive, one idea would be to implement recursive functions that are able to do that. So in the case of counting the amount of leaves, we just start with zero as a counter. And then every time we encounter a leaf, we do plus one to that counter. And the recursive case is going down either the right or the left tree. In the case of transforming the tree into a list, in this case of characters, we do a similar thing, which is we start with an empty list. And then in the case we are in a leaf, we add to that list a value, which is the character in, this, in that leaf. Or in the recursive case, we descend either on the left or the right tree. There are a ton of commonalities between these two functions. In particular, they have the exact same structure, but they differ only in three aspects. The first one is the initial accumulator, let's call it that way. In the case of counting the leaves is an integer and it's zero. And in the case of summarizing the tree to a list of characters, it's an empty list. Then we have the calculation we run when we are in the leaf. In this case, we are doing a plus one. And in this case, we are concatenating the character in the leaf. The last difference is how we combine the results in the recursive case, which is a plus when we are counting the amount of leaves or a list concatenation when we are concatenating the characters in the leaves. Lucky as functional programming is about finding those sort of abstractions. And then of course, giving them a name that makes you think you need a PhD to be able to use them. In any case, in uh, Haskell and PureScript, there's this abstraction called foldable. And foldable is the idea of taking a value and summarizing it down to a single one. So from a data structure, maybe nested, as in the case of our tree, we want to condense it down to one single value. Speaking of PhDs, here we have the term monoid, 
which is a complicated word to say that if a type is a monoid, we can take multiple values of that type and squash them together into one single value. So for example, with string, we can take two, three, four, an infinite amount of strings and squash them together by concatenating them. So in other words, string is a monoid. Okay, now we can define the foldable instance for our tree. Notice that we do that by implementing uh, the fold map function, which works this way. Here we have as a second argument, the data structure. In our case, it's tree of char. And a function as a first argument that takes each value contained in our tree and transforms it into an M, which is a monoid. At the end, we get the summary of the data structure into one value. So by looking at the type, we can more or less understand what's going on here. We take our data structure, which is, let's say, a container of values. In our case, a tree of characters. And we make each value a monoid, which means that after everything inside is a monoid, we can squash it together into one value. And here we have the code refactored using the foldable instance of tree that achieves the same results as with the recursive functions. Now, in the case of transforming everything into a list, we call foldmap, we give it our tree, and the way we transform every value into something that can be squashed together to give us the list of characters that we need at the end, we just transform every leaf into a list that contains only that character. In the case of counting the amount of leaves, what we do is that we transform each leaf into additive of one. An additive is a monoid that when it's squashed together with another additive, it just performs the sum of its value. In our case, we're going to have all of the leaves being additive one, and when they are squashed together, they're going to be summing one plus one plus one plus one as many times as the amount of leaves that we have. Wow, this was a ton of stuff. Props for getting to the end. This is it for today. As always, thank you very much for the comments, the feedback and the subscriptions. I'll see you next time.